I think <clears throat> what a lot of people don't understand about Monero is that when I supported Monero, it was at, um, what was it, 91 in the United States, and now it's like in the 60s, but um, at least that's in the United States, and I feel like what happened is it opened up a new vein in Monero, like, or the code did. Exactly, like at the at the time that I talked about it, I don't know I don't know exactly how to how the, what the word is for that, but um, that means that it made made it so that miners could mine more and follow different rules for a certain amount of time. And so, who is the number one Bitcoin miner in the world? Pretty sure it's China. So, um, does Monero is is Monero super prevalent in China? Um, yeah, it is. And so I feel like different continents have their own cryptocurrency trade. And so um, if you're an American, you're going, okay, he's been a jerk about Monero because the price has gone down so much and it hasn't gone up. And it's almost, well, I mean, how long has it been? Like six months? Um, sorry, I don't control that. But um, who sort of controls their own currency's relationship with Monero. I think it's other countries, or at least I can't imagine China got screwed over in that deal because China, like I said, is the number one Bitcoin miner in the world. But I feel like doesn't Iceland mine a lot, which why would you want to mine Iceland? It's because they have clean energy there, like from like, I think geothermal energy, right? And then they also have um, like some cold weather that allows for cooling, it makes it when you have cold weather, it's better for your HVAC because it's easier on your um, on your motors if you're trying to cool a room that's really really hot. So um, where else do they do a lot of mining? I don't know who does the most mining. Uh, I feel like Monero initially was mined by everyone, um, but. All I'm saying is that we didn't screw over certain people, especially with Monero. I don't know who all does Monero. Um, so no matter what you think about us, we are somewhat reasonable, but I know sometimes in the past we've been pretty brutal. I mean, you have to think about it. Like any, any time that you control the raw, min, raw like, like gold, the gold trade for that long, um, it matters. And it, it, it matters from a international relations perspective and how much you piss people off perspective. And similarly, people feel the same way about the oil business. And we are very in the oil business. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know what to say about cryptocurrency because it hasn't been long term, but also I, I don't have money. And I feel like that's why a lot of people are concerned. What happens if he goes to jail? Yeah, that's the real concern for some countries um, and I feel like people are always trying to put me in jail or pop a cap in my ass and um, fortunately the police here are really good at what they do there I mean are they spies <laughs> like that's the thing like I mean are cops spies they're always a spy like no matter what you're a spy if you're a cop um, it's kind of just how being a cop is uh, that's your job uh, being a spy and like I, I feel like but they're also, I mean, because think about it, are they diplomats too? But um, are, are American spies more annoying than foreign spies? That's, that's the thing about me, but from a national security perspective, are American spies more annoying than foreign spies? Probably not. 